Well, I guess when I started, I was pleasing me. It was for me, and I was channeling my inner nine-year-old. I mean, I will never grow up. I look old, I am old, but deep inside, I laugh at burps and farts like every nine-year-old kid, you know? And um, I'm just having a hell of a lot of fun with it. And I love robots. I, I love to watch them. I am absolutely fascinated by how they work. The, uh, the idea that I couldn't keep working and writing and creating drove me crazy. And so when the idea to do the robots came up, I just couldn't stop thinking. I couldn't stop thinking of ideas and characters and stories and, and I'm as busy now as I've ever been. I did a whole bunch of patterns, like fabric patterns. They were based on the dress that I did for the Walk of Fame. So I started doing fabric patterns and I, robots are great. So I drew all these crazy robot fish and robot cats and robot dogs. And I met uh, a wonderful young woman who's in marketing and she said, why don't you focus on the robots and start to do something just with the robots because it looks like this is something you really love to do. And I started doing children's books, writing in rhyme, and I got the first one done and the second one done. And we started working on a video game and just starting adding to this robotic collection of stuff. So we have the patterns, we have the books, we have the game that we're creating. And I actually, I've actually had a couple of editors look at my work now and say, oh, maybe you shouldn't rhyme everything because Dr. Seuss did that. And I thought, well, the heck with you. Dr. Seuss isn't the only, you know, rhyming writer out there. I think, you know, that's like saying you can't do ghosts because Dickens did it, right? So I'm just doing it on my own. Actually, it was Katie who asked me to do it. She said, do it in rhyme because her kids love poetry. And she said, it forces you to use words you wouldn't normally use because you have to look through your vocabulary for a word that rhymes with another word. And so, you know, unsubstantiated might be a word you would use in a poem just because it has that, you know, sound to it where a child would say, well, what does that mean? Let's look it up. And she said, I love it when my kids have to look up a word in a book that they're reading because it's educational for them.